Beautiful Half Moon Bay was the setting for the start of the women's 2018 Way High World Cup, and after a little local colour from the opening ceremony, the scene was set for this tough course to bring the best out of a talented field. It was mid-morning as the 44 athletes lined up for the start of the race, with mercury rising steadily under the glow of China's autumnal sunshine. Czech Republic's Vendula Frintova, the winner in Karla Vivari earlier in the month, was among the favourites, but it was USA's Taylor Spivey wearing the number one and chasing her first ever World Cup gold. It was a beach start for the straightforward two-lap swim of the bay's calm waters, and the swim threw up few surprises. Yuko Takahashi of Japan assumed the lead, and at the halfway mark, she was the first back onto the beach for the sharp turn and re-entry. The race number two held on to that front spot for the duration of the swim, hungry Zanet Bragmeyer and USA's Tamara Gorman with her shoulder to shoulder as they returned to the beach for the second time. Only 15 seconds separated the top 25 out of the water, but coming out of T1, it was Takahashi with the slight lead, followed by a talented crop that also included Spivey and teammate Chelsea Burns, Austria's Lisa Pertura and Ana Godoy Contreras of Spain. We'll her, the tough bike course quickly made an impact on the story of the race. The long steady climb in the middle section of the 6.7 km lap, shuffling the pack quickly and soon leaving a group of six out front, headed by Spivey and Takahashi, along with Italy's Anna Maria Mazzetti, Spain's Miriam Casillas, Pertura and Bragmeyer. Two laps in, they already had a 70 second advantage, but by the end of the sixth lap, it had grown to well over two minutes, with only Mexico's Claudia Rivas breaking away from the train in a bid to close in. The six had worked well together on the flat, while Spivey looked to make the most of the faster sections back downhill and into transition, providing a useful few seconds on that group as the athletes headed out of T2 and onto the run. It wasn't long before Spivey and Mazzetti had dropped the other four and opened up a crucial lead of their own. Spivey had already spoken of her love of coastal courses before the race, but Mazzetti had also proven her mettle earlier in the month, returning from injury with a third place on a testing Carla Vivari course. That had been the Italian's first podium since 2015, while Spivey was coming off the back of another strong WTS performance at the Gold Coast Grand Final. The two took in plenty of fluids as the race became a battle of wills in the midday sun as to who could make a move and hold on to that pace once it had been upped. Mazzetti appeared to thrive on the short inclines, but Spivey kept pegging her back on the flats, eventually carving out enough space to break her rival's will and press on ahead. It was the Americans' acceleration up the penultimate straight back along the shoreline and onto the blue carpet that eventually proved decisive, allowing Spivey to enjoy a calm final few metres on her way to collecting that first World Cup gold. Azetti crossed the line in second, Miriam Casillas in third. Yeah, I couldn't be happier. I've gotten second quite a few times now in World Cup, so I'm really happy to take the win. Yeah, I, I wasn't anticipating um, the group to separate that quickly after the first the first climb, um, but I really tried to make the group work together because I knew, you know, we weren't going to make the difference on the hill necessarily, but on on the the flatter sections, and um, I think we did a good job. <laughs> I was super happy about this second place because yesterday evening I had sore neck, and this morning as well I didn't even want it to start. Then the physio and the team uh, helped me. Come on, try. You will not see. You will not have pain during the race. So I start, and I was super happy that I was. Uh, I made it. Oh, in the first two laps I didn't feel like uh, really well, but in the third lap I start to feel uh, better, and I know that after one injury that I have this year, I don't have like really like uh, powerful or chain, so I decided in the last hill uh, before uh, yeah before coming to the sprint, like try to push a bit, and and I drop like uh, Lisa Perter, uh, Yuko, so just I feel like I I was thinking like just on the finish line all the time and uh, not not to slow down just going 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 and well finally I made it. Yeah. <laughs>
Santos to join the club photo. 有请颁奖嘉宾与获奖运动员。